Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a cat. We begin by sketching a mood line, an action line. Then the head with a circle, a line for the ears and for the eyes, the general outline of the body and the legs. Now we begin with more details such as the eyes, the nose, the mouth and the ears. Very good. This is just a basic sketch line with pencil as a guide to now start drawing with a fountain pen. It may be a little bit hard to see the pencil line on video, but you will see it better as I start going over it with the pen. As you may have seen on previous drawings, most of the time I hold the pen upside down because it draws thinner. And only when I need a harder and thicker line, I flip it around as normally. As you see on this close-up, the eyes are a little bit flatter on top and almost round on the bottom, but stretch a little bit toward the back. Of course, the cat pupils are long. The nose connects to the mouth with a little line that divides the lips or cheeks or something. These little dots are from where the whiskers grow. I am rendering the shading as well as creating the fur by making short little lines. This handsome cat will have longer fur, so the lines for the fur of the body are longer. Usually they have the fur shorter on the head. In order to make it appear more real, do not draw all the hair even, otherwise it may look like the pink panther coming out of the dryer. <laughs> Instead you can do the fur clumped in little bunches, which in turn create sort of layers, like this. Good. Now let's do the paws and divide the toes. We continue doing little lines and the hair of the legs and paws is usually shorter again. I made some stripes on the legs, as you can see. All with little lines, as I told you. All right, I like it how it is looking. Now I erase the pencil marks that were left so that the drawing looks cleaner. But make sure if you erase the lines that your ink of the pen is totally dry, otherwise it may blur and ruin the drawing. Here I am darkening further under the layers of fur that is sticking out. This to show better the layers. Because the fur that is sticking out obviously creates a shadow under it. So we should show this. Now we should indicate a surface in the shadow of the cat even if small because we have almost frontal lighting, slightly to the left. And it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to Finer Tips and to Patreon. You know where to follow me, the links are below. And I will see you on Tuesday.